Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. Okay, I'm playing around with Cubase 6.5 here, and uh, the question comes up for me and for many other people. Could you mix strictly with the plugins that come with Cubase and get good results? Well, I've been using Cubase since early, early on, and I have to say, the boys and girls down there at Steinberg have really been working hard. And uh, I've set up a mix here. You can answer the question for yourself. And I'm just using, mostly using, I'll say that, almost completely using just the included plugins that come with Cubase 6.5. And I'll demonstrate those for you for yourself. And I'm pretty impressed, I have to say, if you had limited funds and you didn't really want to have to go out and buy all the Waves plugins and the UAD and all the expensive, wonderful plugins out there, you wouldn't have to, I don't think, with the newest version of Cubase because it includes some pretty extraordinary sounding plugins. And they get overlooked sometimes simply because there's so much competition. And in the past, I think the competition might have had the edge. But uh, Steinberg is catching up, and there's some wonderful plugins which make Cubase 6.5 actually quite a good deal. And let me demonstrate those. Now, straight off the bat, the reverb we're hearing on, where is it, on our violin, we've got a couple of versions of Reverence, which is the included impulse response reverb. And I'm mostly using presets to demonstrate this all the way through here. So that reverb we're hearing is included. We're using two different uh, stances of it so that... Uh, one is on the drums, and the other is on the violin. Have a listen. Very sweet. Now, another thing I've got here on the entire mix, it's turned off right now, I'm going to turn it on, is the... It creates a delay, so it's hard for me to talk with it on because it's on the master bus. But I'm going to turn it on and off and let you hear it. And what it is is the multiband compressor built in. And I'm using a preset here. So let's have a listen as it's turned on and off on the master bus. I'm pretty impressed with that. I think it sounds very musical. I'll leave it off just because in making this video, having that on the master bus creates too much delay. Uh, it's hard to speak through. So let's continue on. On the fretless bass, I'm using the studio chorus. Again, Steinberg, very sweet sounding chorus. Once again, that's included. Now, on this, 
the patch itself did have some delay and some other effects on it. Uh, but I'll switch this on and off so you can really hear what it's doing. works really well with the presets that were already on that bass, and it tends to make it a little bit more 3D, as well as not overly modulated, just nice. What else do we got? We've got several things here. Let's see. Now, this is very cool. On this track called Glitch, which is some electronic glitching used as percussion, we've got the mod machine automated on this part to add some additional rhythm. And this is a very cool tool. And uh, you'll see it come in as it's sent through the automation to the effect. And I'll switch it on and off with the music so you can really hear what it's doing. Now, keep in mind, initially we'll hear it off so that you can really hear what it's doing. And when this send comes up gradually, you'll hear it come in. There it is, echoing off. Very cool again. Not just your meat and potatoes effects, but some additional very cool modulation delay effect there. Okay, let's continue on. Go to video two, and we'll continue to demonstrate some of these wonderful effects built in that come with Cubase 6.5.